What's good, Pro Cutters? John and David here, and we're about to build some damned old bunk beds for his daughters. Stick around, this could get interesting. Okay, guys, so we're ripping these down to 75 by 38 inches and these are what's going to support the mattress on the bunk beds and I'm using my Craig jig to cut it So now we've got our pretty piece of plywood and we're going to rip six four inch strips out of it. Highly recommend saw horses or a workbench. Also highly recommend not being old. You're a dick. <laughs> Just plain hateful. That's what I get for helping. Also highly recommend getting a Ford Rafter. Yeah, definitely recommend those. Thank the Lord for lithium batteries. Without it, we'd all be stuck with corded equipment. Time to make some adjustments. Okay, so we've got all our parts cut out, ready to begin assembly. And we're gluing and brad nailing our bunk supports together. Why is it starting to sprinkle? Alright, so we've got this one frame assembly underway. We're gluing all the 
boards and then we'll put down the OSB which is going to be the main support for the mattress. The other frame put together now so it's all glued and nailed and now we're about to start building the legs all right guys and so for the legs they're just a simple butt joint a triangle gusset on one end glued and nailed together and then they'll bolt on to the side of the bed frame four of them like that and on the bottom bunk they'll go that direction and then on the top bunk they'll go this direction that way the two beds can be put together like that and you'll have plenty of room in between the two bunks now we have all the legs assembled you can see this one is set upside down so the top bunk the legs will be from the bunk going down and the bottom bunk the legs will be from the bunk coming up that way you can bolt these two triangles together and then the only thing that wasn't in the plans it's showing that the bottom bunk just set right on the ground so later on we're going to add some either two by fours or four by fours to bring that bottom bunk up like eight or ten inches off of the floor now we've got the legs bolted on the bottom bunk and we just used 5 16 carriage bolts is what we used for the legs and it's three inches over from the corner and this one is an inch off of the bottom three inches from the corner inch and a half off of the bottom that way the nuts and bolts don't interfere with one another you've got room to put them on all right so there's the final product minus like i said we we're going to take and put some legs underneath and then we'll need to build a little ladder for it too but easy bunk beds built with just one sheet of three quarter inch plywood and two sheets of 716 OSB. Thanks for watching. What's up, YouTube? Here's the top bunk. Addie Grace picked out this nice blue turquoise color, and Enzi Faith picked out this bright pink. Now, we painted the bottom of the top bunk, which you see here. But we didn't paint the bottom of the bottom bunk. And the reason is it's going to be in the carpet. You're not going to be able to see it anyway. So we're not worried about that. But here you go. In the next little bit, once these are completely dry, we're going to move these to the bedroom, stack them back to together. And I'll get you a short video of it put back together. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Here's the final product. Got the bed sheets and comforters on there. And the girls' dolls, just staring at you all creepily. Ooh. There you go, finished product. Here you go, let's see. Do, 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 do. Plenty of space to sleep. All right, Enzi, get under there and show them what it looks like. There we go. Thank you.